Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Heavy Shot, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Welcome to another episode of Larry Smith Outdoors. Today, we are down in the Madison area and fishing with our good friend, Brian Zuki. Hey, Brian, you know what? I didn't mess your name up, name up for once. You know, I'm horrible at last names. If your name was like this, Smith, it'd be easy for me to pronounce it, right? Well, you'll have that. Right? <laughs> you know, the last time we fished you through this spring, we had a great time. You definitely know panfish like nobody else. And the great part about fishing with you is the stories, you know, and that's the cool part about fishing is, you know what, building memories, all the good stories, you know, I mean, reminiscing, you know, it, it's just, it's a cool way to spend the day. I'm excited to get out and do this, do some fishing and tell some good stories today. You are. And, uh, so tell everybody at home what we actually got going down here. I mean, the water that you guys got in the last two weeks is absolutely <laughs> insane. We've got a ton of rain. I mean, the water levels, I've never seen it this high in years and years and years. Uh, You're not that old. No, I so know. I'm 32, years but years I've... Years. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. I've never seen it like it this. It is high. I mean, you know, how much has it changed the fishing? Oh, it's changed a lot, okay. I think. I think, anyways. Yeah, because it can't be a typical patterns going on here, late summer, early fall patterns at all. Cold fronts and the hot weather, it's switching back and forth, it's just screwed up the fishing a lot you know I I've been struggling but I've been you know I just got to spend a lot of time out on the water and figure them out but what's our plan for the day what do you uh, want to tackle first uh, I mean there's uh, walleyes in here there's lots of big gills crappies I think we're gonna tackle bluegills and perch okay and if that's kind of dead we'll go switch over to walleyes and if that doesn't pan out we'll jump to another lake okay that um, sounds that sounds good I'm excited about it so what kind of structure are we gonna be fishing today uh, weed lines and uh, cribs Weed lines and cribs, okay? Yep. Hey, you, I know that we'll catch the walleyes for sure today. You know why I know that? Because I'm with you? And No, because we got the lightning. Lance the lightning is with us today, yep. The walleye guy, yep. So I think we got a, a pretty good combination of fishermen today. And hey, let's see what happens. It's a beautiful day. It's not snowing, it's not raining. It's beautiful. The sun is shining. It's high 74 today. Right, and you got a new girlfriend too. Oh yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> We'll talk about that later. <laughs> hey, Jesus. stay tuned. Let's see what happens today on the Madison Chain. Should be a good day. There you go. Feels like a walleye too. Nice job, Brian. I'll tell you what. You know, oh, small. Oh, small. Look at that. Woo! That that's a nice fish. You were saying there's some nice smallmouth in here. Whoa. Now that was that was on Jeez. that plastic stew, huh? Yep, just a jig and twister tail. I don't know why my drag's so tight. Connor was just telling a story too. See, that always gets the fish to bite, Brian. Right? Hey, the last time we fished with you, Brian, we certainly had a ball and we caught some giant gills. Jeez, look at them go. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I loosened that drag up. Come on, Lance. Let's see a double back there. I was just drag I was just dragging it real slow. Okay. Boy, he's just taking me where he wants that to go, huh? That is a huh? nice fish. It came out of the water once. Yeah, I thought it had head shakes like a walleye at first, and then it just came straight up. I'm like, ah, oh, it's a smallie. We'll take smallies. I love smallies. Oh, oh, smallies are my favorite. Who's got the net? Uh, net? Uh, <clears throat> are we bringing that today? Oh, we do. We have the Come Beckman. Come on, there's got to be a Beckman in here. We got a Beckman. 
There we go. It's not I'll a bad one. Back to you, Brian. I want to tell everybody at home what, what you're doing, how you're pitching that plastics up on that uh, rock, right. and you're basically just slow rolling it, right? Yeah, just dragging it, real slow dragging over the rocks. Gotta like that one. It's not a bad one. It doesn't look like a very big fish back next to a guy like you. Yeah, no, I make fish look small. You know, that's an 18-inch fish, right. 17 and a half, 18 inches. Yeah, like inch your uh, shirt there, too. Oh, yeah, you got to represent. Yep. Hey, I'll tell you Becky what, Mike and, and Becky, uh, they probably, that shirt costed more than a normal guy's no, shirt, No, I right? know. They had a special order that one for they me. They did? They did? Yeah. All right. I'm like, Mike, you got to get me a shirt. And he's like, oh, it's going to take a little while. Hey, Maybe. Brian, I want to talk a little bit about fishing, but I also want to talk about one thing, is that, you know what? You are a girl <laughs> magnet. And you know what? <laughs> Jesus. You, you know, Brian, Brian, no. Brian, <laughs> I, just, I, know, I just want to talk about this. I know you have a girlfriend now, and that's awesome. But I'm thinking to myself, you know what? That's what Connor and Lance are doing wrong. They need to bulk up and put a little bit of weight on. Uh, Women love a big, jolly guy like yourself, don't they? Uh, big and jolly is the way to win them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most, that's a, you know what? That's the first time I've ever got him to clam up, right? He went as silent as can uh, be. <laughs> what did you, let's talk about fishing now, Ryan. Something that you, you know a lot about and you're good at. What are you doing? Tell everybody at home. Well, I'm doing. just dragging on, what is this about? This is probably a four inch twitcher tail. Yep. On, you know, quarter ounce jig head, just dragging it over the rocks and. Kind of slow rolling it though, right? Yeah, just getting enough to make the tail just move a little bit, you know, just dragging over these rocks and hopefully we're, we're targeting the walleyes, but you know, we'll take a smallie every once in a while we'll too. Take, yep, you ain't we'll kidding. We'll take anything that bites actually. <laughs> All right. Nah. Anybody want a sandwich? How many, dude, this is like your fifth sandwich. You want one? No, I'm good right now. I'll be running into the short and taking a <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm eating because, you know what, if, if I become a chick maybe like you, maybe I can find one that's got a lot of money. My favorite thing is to go to the bowl launch and watch people not be able to back their boat in. Right, right. That's my favorite. Connor's still, <laughs> Connor's still trying to practice with his boat in the bathtub. In the bathtub? Yeah. There, he there we go, Brian. Nice. Feel too bad. What? Not a bad well, that's a, that's a nice gill right there. I'll take them all day long. Now look how light these are on this lake right here. Not a lot of color. Are they typically like that? Well, I think with this darker water with the algae bloom, I think they're, you know, a little bit of deeper water. I think we're in about 10 feet of water here. Yeah, that's, so. a, that's a nice gill right there. Hey, you know, typically I don't like to keep a lot of fish, but I'm going to keep enough for a meal. And I'm sure uh, Lance would probably like to keep some too. Oh yeah. Look at the shoulders on that gill. It's a nice looking gill. Nice little bead. Hey Lance. It was 50 bucks on the first gill, right? <laughs> now the subject's brought up. What do you mean? What are you talking <laughs> about? All right, 100 on the first walleye. <laughs> well, we're going walleye fishing then. We're going walleye fishing right. then. Why is Warrior Boats the official boat of Larry Smith Outdoors? When you spend your life on the water, you need a boat that is dependable, reliable, and comfortable. Warrior Boats are the most diverse multi-species fishing platform in the industry. Whether you're a hardcore tournament angler or looking to enjoy weekends relaxing on the water with your family, Warrior Boats have a boat to fit your needs. Warrior Boats create the ultimate fishing experience. To join the Warrior Boats family, go to warriorboatsinc.com to find a dealer near you. On the side nice a perch too. Nice perch. Good perch. Ooh, that is a good perch. Hold that. Oh. Kind of a smorgasbord today so far, Brian. Kind of nice. We'll Remember, I can't hold fish, right? <laughs> yeah, last time you had a hard time, and boy, Connor really made you look bad. You know, I, I think you should give him a grizzly hug. <laughs> I can't with my broken ribs. Can't with my broken ribs. That's a bluegill. I'm hoping it's a bluegill. It is. Not not one of them yellow Doing bass. A circle no, dance. another yellow bass. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm plagued by these things today. That's it's on the ultra That's, like... that's going to be a big. Uh. Holy cats. <laughs> Look at a good eater. Look at this. Hold that one up. 
That's a nice gill. Seems like the slip bobbers are working a little bit bigger, better for the bigger fish. Yeah, the other side of the thing is not cutting it, cutting yeah. it right now. Got it. Bill, get by lance. Oh, my hat back on, so it looks like a crumb. Yeah, I'll see does. I like to see that. All right. Right. Ice fishing's right around the corner, Brian. Are you gonna be able to take us out on these lakes and, and do some ice fishing? You know, and another cool part about this, everybody we meet on these lakes is so nice. Good people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to get you out ice fishing out here, especially for these perch. Yep. We'll come out here, we'll use our Vexlars, and um, well, the pan optics, of course, too, we'll use and hunt down the big schools of perch. And, and then use the Vexlars to catch the, them. Yep, use the Vexlars to get right on top of them and pluck them right out of the schools. That sounds good. And it'll be a lot of fun. Hey, on your lakes here, too, on uh, this Madison chain, if you bring uh, ATV or UTVs, they all have to have flotation on them, too, um, right? Only on Mendota and Monona, you're allowed, you need um, flotation. Okay. And you need to get your flotation registered. Okay, it's got to be wow. certified. Huh? Yep, and I think it's every Thursday and Saturday. They might have changed the dates on that from last year, but you can go onto the sheriff website and find out where you need to get your floats registered to get out on the lakes. Okay. But uh, with Yisa and Kiganza, you don't need floats. But you're restricted, I think, to 800 pounds. Okay. For uh, nothing over 800 pounds. I don't know, all I've been catching lately is the yellow bass, but we'll see. No, it is a nice gill. Ooh, that's another nice one. Look at that. You know, I caught about six, seven of uh, the yellow bass in a row, and now back to Back to nice gills. You, go up there? you know, in their hand size like that, you know that's a nice gill. I like the shoulders on them too. Just a little 30 second ounce jig. Little, ooh, it's nice when you can hardly get your hands around <laughs> them, you know? Got a gap there. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky in the land. Hey, Brian, you got a great tip for us today, I betcha. You know, we've had a great day bluegill fishing and perch fishing, caught a ton of them. Give us a good tip and why we caught so many fish. Well, today we're focusing on weed lines, so let's show you here what we're doing. So this is the weed line right here. We're getting on the edge of the weeds, okay. and what I do, this saves you so you don't have to throw an anchor in the water. So you get your troll motor with spot lock, hit the spot lock button, sit right on it. You don't have to throw a 20 pound anchor in and throw it your back. So getting right on the edge of the weeds this time of year is the most important thing when you're fishing these perch and gills on these lakes. It's com that's the key factor of it. You need to be right on the weed edges. You know, if your weed edge is in 10 feet, stay in 10 feet. If your weed is Six feet, staying six feet. You well, know. it definitely was the, the factor today because we caught a ton of big gills and big perch. And you know what, that's a great tip. And we also, of course, want to thank our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats for the jerky. Again, the finest jerky in the land. What's going on in this boat? Oh, perch, okay. nice perch. Yeah, we'll take that all day. Right. That's, that's what I love about fishing. Never know what you're going to catch. Never know get. what you're going to catch, yep. All right, that's you don't have your wife calling, yelling at you. Ooh, that's, that is a good perch. Boy, they're good fighters. That's Whoa, another nice perch. Right. I like the shoulders. See, you got to get out with my, me this winter. That's right. That's I'm telling my, you. I can't wait for winter. Honestly, it's my one of my favorite times is ice fishing, and that's certainly coming up. Perch? I don't know. Keep catching the like perch. Fighting like a booger bass. A booger bass? Yeah, booger bass. You have bass. to explain to everybody what a booger bass is. Well, booger bass is because they bite your line and the boogers about it. Yellow bass? Yellow bass. Yellow bass are back. I got my word. It's okay. You can have a little bit of a treat. Hey, you know, I would say the only thing today, the only thing that's probably not real happy today, would you like to know? What? Is that 300 G2 back there. She doesn't, she, I mean, she's fine going to idling, but you know what? She likes to get up and let her go once in a while. <laughs> and you can't do that on a day like today. It sounds nice. It sounds nice for sure. It sounds beefy. It's like, it's like having a high performance 
sports car though, you know, going around the city at 25, after a while, she gets a little owly, you know? Yeah. So we might have to go to another lake yet today just to let her open up open a little bit up. and burn a little fuel. Not so small anymore, Lance. Lightning, what do you got shaking there? Oh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Look at the size of them gills. Them are absolutely tanks. Feels like nothing's there until you get them up about two feet. And then right, you and then they, they fight like crazy. Yeah. Let's hold that one up again so we can get a good shot at them, but definitely a nice gill. Gotta like that, lightning. There's those big ones you're talking about. Right, yeah. He's, he's gaining on me. That'll work. That's not too bad. Right, Brian, we just slipped back over the edge of these weeds. Yeah, you guys took me out of commission. <laughs> now yeah. Larry's on Connor, Connor keeps hitting that anchor button up there and we keep drifting back into the weeds. Yeah, and then we give Larry the good spot. Right, Connor's on my Connor's side. Connor's not feeling good today. I just don't think that he doesn't want to film. Oh, that's not the case. Are you hitting the stop yeah, button yeah. on it? Brian, I'll tell you what, we had an absolutely awesome time. We caught a ton of bluegills and perch. And you know, when you look at, I took these couple out of the live well, the size of these panfish are absolutely awesome. You know, if people want to get a hold of you to do some of this great fishing on the Madison chain, how can they do it? Uh, BlueRibbonOutdoors.com uh, on our website. Just go on there and check it us out. And we have all the price listings and whatever else you would need on there. And uh, we supply everything you need except for drinks and food. Hey, the big thing is too, Brian, is that, you know, we're getting into early fall here, but ice fishing is not that far away. And you guys have a large ice guiding business that you run on the Madison chain here too. And, and so if guys want to come out and do some ice fishing, they can give you a call too on that, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for ice fishing. It's my favorite time of the year. So, and we'll be on the perch and the bluegills all winter. That's awesome. Hey, you know what? Make sure everybody checks out our social media site, Larry Smith Outdoors on Facebook too. And and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, Lance, we had a great day out there. You actually didn't do too bad at all. No, not switching over to pan fishing from walleye. I was kind of happy with it, Larry. Fun change of pace. Yeah, it is. A relaxing it's, way to fish. It is. That. There's no doubt about that, you know. What is up with uh, the extra large shirt here, Larry? <laughs> this is Brian's shirt. I just, okay. you know what? Brian's such a chick maggot. I figured if I wore it, maybe <laughs> that I, someone would rub off on me. Okay. Right? I need to fill it out a little bit. So I'm going to go home and clean these pan fish up and have a fish fry. So maybe I can start bulking up. And maybe, <laughs> hey, if, if it all fails, Lance, I might even start playing for the Packers. Oh, there you go. They could use some help. <laughs> hey, you know, we always have fun, and, and that's what it's all about, enjoying the outdoors. And like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. You know, but... All right, yeah. let's get back to cast. Oh my God, if your girlfriend sees that I'm a girl magnet, dude, she's gonna sh so. She's not gonna watch our show. Nobody, yeah, she does. Nobody watches our I show. I made her watch all my stuff. <laughs> that looks delicious. Okay, game on. Who's <laughs> he snacking already? Ah, that's <laughs> Oh, that's true. Wasn't that the rule? Yeah, it was. Like, the sheep head jumps in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the rule. Beautiful. You ever see that guy in my pillow commercial? Oh, all the time. You wonder if he ever farts on those pillows on you. <laughs>